what's up YouTube hopefully you guys enjoyed that little mini edit of me working out with some cats I met at the uh, strongman competition I did not too long ago um, I made that edit a while back but for whatever reason I kind of forgot that I hadn't even put it up on the channel I put it up on my uh, Facebook and Instagram but um, I hadn't uploaded onto um, into any of my YouTube videos yet today I wanted to talk about genetics and the importance your specific genetic inheritance plays in your ability to change your physique or to be more specific to gain muscle mass um, recently I've come across or I've been uh, approached by a lot of people who ask me about gaining muscle and one of the first things I'm told when people um, ask about building muscle is they'll kind of preface the question with saying well I'm a hard gainer or I don't build muscle that easily and um, you know what I agree there is of course everyone has their own uh, predetermined genetic disposition uh, but I feel like a lot of people a lot of people place too much importance on it um, and the way it affects them is less biologically and more so psychologically meaning their genetic predisposition acts more as a self-fulfilling prophecy than an, an actual real biological inability to achieve whatever they're trying to go after so when I say genetics acts more as a self-fulfilling prophecy what I'm saying is I know a lot of people who think that they're hard gainers so a lot of times when they do try to pursue gaining muscle mass their effort will be on par with their belief in whether or not they can actually achieve what they're going after and just like anything else if you feel like you're not going to be good at something it's going to be very difficult for you to actually put a lot of effort into it if you feel like you're going to be unsuccessful and so since a lot of people believe that they're going to be unsuccessful they don't work as hard as they as they would if they felt that they would actually achieve the desired result another thing is a lot of times someone will look at someone else's uh results at a given task and look at the end result and assume that that end result or that heightened level of acumen they have achieved at that task is due to some innate ability or some uh, you know God-given talent and what they don't see is the hard work um, all the dedication all the all the stuff put into achieving that result and I really do think that if most people who assume that they're not good at something or, or most people who assume that they're not good at building muscle or they have some type of natural handicap in building muscle, if they look at other people who achieve what they're trying to achieve and they look at what they've done to get there, what they're going to find a lot of times is there is a huge differential in between um, what they're doing and what the other person is doing more than likely they're going to find that they're doing a lot less than what they think is necessary to actually achieve that goal so usually the question about building muscle goes like well i'm trying to build muscle what supplement should i take now right there if the first thing you have to ask about building muscle is about a supplement i already know you're not doing the right stuff because supplements are secondary supplements can help you they can aid you in your endeavor to build muscle or whatever you're trying to do but they are not important enough to where if you have an issue the first thing you do is seek out the proper supplement to take there are certain questions that I ask somebody who says that they're having a hard time building muscle first and foremost are you lifting progressively heavier weights if the answer is no you are wrong second question are you using the heavy free weighted basic movements squat bench deadlift overhead press rows pull-ups if you are not using these movements and you're claiming that you don't have good genetics you are wrong are you taking in the proper amount of calories you need per day to grow uh, do you know the proper calories uh, you need per day to grow if the answer is no you are wrong lastly are you consistent? Do you have days, weeks, even months where you fall off? If the answer is yes, then you are wrong. If you are missing any of those fundamentals, then you're not doing enough to say that your genetics are subpar for what you're trying to do. If you're not doing that stuff, then you're leaving money on the table. Okay, so the bottom line is your genetics dictate where you begin, but hard work, dedication, work ethic, will dictate where you end. 
Thank you for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. Take care, guys.